As she moved and brought the fabric pieces to life, I was moved. The camera soon moved up too, and most prominently, she explained to me how she was moved. And why is this? By the simplicity of wearing this piece. Did that move you? They told me the intro should be the most moving part. The first time she tried it on, she tried describing the sensation as this empowerment she couldn't quite understand. But it was soon after the show that she was able to find an explanation. She posted, thank you, Karina Francis, for putting me in this amazing piece of yours. I truly felt like a superwoman. It was in this precise moment of expression in which I was truly moved that this fuel of empowerment I curated in turn also empowered me. You might still be wondering or pondering. Poetically, I could say the fashion is my passion. My name is Karina Edmonds. I'm a 15-year-old student and young designer. I like to believe I am from the world. Well, to be specific, I'm a multicultural child from North America. I was born in Mexico City and moved to Canada when I was 10. I guess skipping the US, but my dad is from California, so I suppose that also makes me American. Ever since I arrived to this country of opportunities, I fell in love with design and how I can move and change people's worlds. Traveling the world's diversity has influenced me to be the young designer I am today. I began painting and sketching at the age of three. I soon realized what it meant when someone saw my art pieces. I was motivated and moved when people around me were moved. And it was as simple as art. Since I was a toddler, my hopes and dreams were to find my hopes and dreams. It is a strange age of trying to find your hopes and dreams that I first sought expression in order to truly understand who I fully was. I mean, I'm still trying to find myself, aren't we all? But back then, I would dress up in the most random clothes possible. I would wear anything and everything from not wearing anything at all to dressing like a princess to trying to feel like Fancy Nancy or wearing my brother's shirts dressing as a donkey, a witch, a fairy, a fairy, a witch, a thing, a mom, a thing, to even that clout. But it was just a year ago that I found this art of expression was what needed to be my hope and dream. When I say the word fashion, how many people here just think of clothes? Although this may be a small portion of it, Fashion can do much more than merely assure you're not naked for the day. Being actively involved in the fashion industry, I've been able to find my own definition of fashion. For me, the word fashion is wearable art that dresses and shapes generations, cultures, and societies. It can affect our emotions and the way we feel about ourselves and the world around us. It can depict who we are and are reflected as a society in constant change. I believe in change through art and in the art of change. Moreover, I believe in changeable art, fashion. Now, wow, that's a lot of changes in one sentence. Just last week, I went to Lana Del Rey's performance, and she sang a phrase I want to share with you today. Hit it. Change is a powerful thing. People are powerful beings. Stop. OK. Change is a powerful thing. People are powerful beings. I found this definition to be so true in my work and my life reflected. Change is a way we move through life. Humans are a form of change. We are constantly changing. Without it, we would stagnate and die. As much as we wish we stayed ourselves, we are constantly changing. Every conversation, every experience, in turn, changes us. It is this powerful thing. I believe we can each find our own definition of change. While we are all different and have different stories and experiences to share with, us, with each other, we each have a different story and passion to share. As it might already be obvious, for me, the simple word of change comes from the word fashion. The beauty of fashion for me truly comes from the effect it can play on someone's life. It is a form of expression in which we can be our utmost creative in our everyday. 
We think about fashion every day. We begin our mornings thinking about what we will wear, but we don't always think about how this simple choice might make us feel. Fashion has the power to change our mood and impact the way we feel, whether it is happy, positive, romantic, confident, or simply good about ourselves. For me, this radiant piece gave me the confidence to come up and speak here with you today. Most importantly, fashion can influence us as we grow and become better people individually and as a society in constant change. Now, you might be wondering how I came up with these definitions. While well, I recently had the privilege to be involved in one of the world's biggest fashion events, New York Fashion Week, it all started, it all started with a collective student brand, Vitruvius. I sent 10 garments to New York Fashion Week five of which were selected to hit the runway. I found out in April of this year, as, um, while as everyone else had a seven-month head start, as they found out and began preparing their designs in September of last year. It was challenging for me at first, because I was not prepared to jump straight into New York Fashion Week. But collaborating with my tailor, I experienced the hands-on element of testing material and the hard work that goes into making these actual beautiful art pieces, from paper to fabric. This false collection theme was who I am. I realize I am uncertain of what that notion meant to me at this time in life. So I took this statement, who I am, and posed it as a question. Rather, who am I? I wanted to express this concept with a multifaceted view, as I realized I'm an individual in constant change. Some themes I regard to create this emotional journey I seek were, first, the experiences and emotions in the journey of finding myself. I also regarded how I see myself as a person now with concepts of my life constantly influencing me. For example, my environment shaping who I am today. I finally looked at my thoughts upon vision and specifically eyes. As I, was, as I was sponsored by this Clear Eyes company for eye drops, I brought my collection together with the technique of layering. This represents my multicultural layers as well as different personas I carry. Fashion has changed me, and I hope through fashion I can also change others. As a designer, the most important thing for me is to have an effect on the wearers and my models. I look for emotional impact as well as personal connection. Each fashion piece I create comes from and reflects my innermost thoughts about the constantly evolving world. Each of my pieces persuades a, living, a reason to life, each detail with a purpose and significance rather than for pure design. I love to work with concepts that anyone from anywhere can relate to. This, I give them my own personal twist and story, but they are still always concepts that are inclusive and elusive for any mind to interpret. Each mind may respond differently based on their own personal experiences and different connections it might receive, individually creating their own story, similarly to what abstract art encourages. This is where I find change in my pieces. This first piece is about the concepts that have influenced me. The main idea I connect to when looking at my influences is the environment. I feel as if my change in environment is the biggest thing that has changed me to be who I am today. Coming from Mexico, my culture was hidden, yet my liberty was nurtured and celebrated. The cage represents both liberty and freedom. I feel my culture here in Canada is being brought and expressed beautifully in Canada's multicultural background. Coming to Canada, I feel the freedom that my country I chose um, of my country. I chose to represent this with a traditional Mexican designs Otomi embroidery from the Mexican High Lines. To empower the significance of freedom, I chose to use the birds as they're a very common pattern in this design. I also identify with birds and their freedom of liberty and freedom of flight. The second piece is dedicated to the creative minds out there. An artist's personality is distinct to no other. As an artist, my creativity can sometimes override my common sense. 
My mind is not squared, rather it thinks outside the box, twisting meanings for itself. This is represented with my abstract art bodysuit, representing an abstract mind. Over the bodysuit is a second layer in a black and white skirt, representing the squared vision that surrounds me every day. And so, although it might be hard sometimes to encounter these people, I am not afraid to express myself as I am. I'm inspired by one of my abstract art pieces and its radiant colors. This top gives a radiant illusion, representing my fearless character for radiating who I am. The corset is inspired by a cage that has been broken, like the constraints of a, that a corset plays. Many artists are afraid to embrace their complex minds. But I am not afraid to be me. So I want to empower the creative forces out there to radiate. This next piece reflects upon womanhood and support. The hands on the chest are supporting just as women should feel. I feel this concept of womanhood has pushed and elevated me to become the strong, opinionated woman many know me to be today. I want to provide the world with this, um, I want to provide the emotional feeling of nakedness, but then the support that I once felt. Additionally, this dress recognizes all women in Mexico and around the world struggling with abuse and oppression. The hands at the back represent this feeling of vulnerability. I want to credit the work of the indigenous women in Mexico and recognize the beauty in their traditional embroidery and hours of work. The traditional Mexican flowers in blue contrast the pink, serving as a statement enriching the beauty of this message and design even further. For this garment, I wanted to express the emotional part of finding oneself. I was inspired when in my Zen hideout, the ocean, I came across a significant creature and its beautiful body. I wanted to embrace its tentacles, giving the illusion that the octopus is seeking to be grounded on a rock as the tentacles are downside up. Like the octopus, at this point in my life, I have not been grounded to a rock, or whatever this true self means, I haven't found. The ink represents this urge of finding myself, yet hide. The ink surrounds and wraps the body, casting a shadow in which you become lost in. For this piece, I was sponsored by an eye drop company, Clear Eyes, which challenged me to do a garment with their vision of the brand. I still try to incorporate this dress into my theme. As for me, it is all in the eyes. As Clear Eyes highlights, every eye shares a different story. It is almost as you can see a person through their eyes, like a portal to their soul. This gives with more reason to my signature where I cross out the face with an ink swoosh covering the eyes. Moreover, at this stage in my life, I still haven't found myself, so in a sense, I am blind. It is ironic that I cover the eyes because the piece, because the brand is called Clear Eyes. As the challenge speaks, I need to incorporate eyes into my dress. I took a more abstract spin into the idea of eyes and vision. Embracing the body features, the pupil is found on the nipple, striking down as the leather strips laser vision dropping down into the fabric. It is this deep, infinite illusion that an eye radiates, which inspires the string illusion. With vision, the two primary colors of the logo are layered to give a, to give a seamless balance between red and blue, like black and white. These two visions, are intersected as the separate fabrics below are moving, creating one vision. As you can see, my pieces when I design, I take a concept, an expanding looking at all the different views and emotional rides that I can take a person through a collection. Every detail means something different, from the hair's formation and expression, to the multiple layers, to the way I choose between shoes or no shoes at all. It is my responsibility to create my vision from paper and poetry to fabric and sculpture, which is what I admire the most when bringing my pieces to life. 
The most rewarding thing for me as a designer is when someone is impacted by my designs on an emotional or personal level. This is when change is on the run. It is this precise moment of expression in which a small ripple I created in touch touches another, creating this contagious emotional wave of change. In this false collection, I had models feeling like princesses and superwomen. This empowerment they expressed to me they felt when wearing my pieces was the most fulfilling part in the process. This becomes my mantra and inspiration when curating my pieces. Through my experience in this journey, I am learning and changing and growing as a person myself, ironically to the theme, understanding who I am more as a person today. This experience was full of learning. I learned that I shouldn't come out with my models at the same time for your future designers. Don't come out at the same time with your models. It is not the right timing, <laughs> as much as I felt like a model. I also became more responsible and wise in that I should not trust anyone with my luggage containing my five garment pieces because <clears throat> my siblings um, might have put them in the taxi and maybe my pieces ended in the middle of New York in a taxi garage for three days in the middle of Harlem Hood. So, learning about the industry's great waste is another way I am changing as a designer. In the future, I hope to be working with technology and fabrics that are sustainable and limit the world's waste, rather encouraging change in the industry's ways. It all starts with today. You might have thought these were, this was from Balmain or Karina Francis. Or is it a pajama? I do love fashion in pajamas. You just wake up and dress it up. But does any of that matter? Does it matter if it's a pajama? Because I tricked you, and this piece already served its purpose. Other than the confidence it gave me to come here today, this piece represents change that I, am, they are, that I am undergoing as a person. My, um, by reusing my clothes or pajamas, I am advocating and reusing for the industry's waste. So this piece radiates change in me and the world. So how can we, as a society, create change? This is just one aspect in our community where I found change to be possible. There are endless possible ways for change. I want you to go home and think about the small ripples that you can create to create waves of change that will change societies and generations to come. If you can impact a life, you can impact a society, and soon you will change lives in ways you didn't think could possibly ripple across the world. So if I wanted you to take anything home with you today, is that if you take passion and apply compassion, change is not far from the shore. It is as small as for me changing the way a person is influenced or can feel. So, I want to ask you a question. What does change mean to you? How do you find this powerful thing? I hope a small ripple hit you today because emotion is my form of change. And I hope to create emotions, oceans of emotions that will flood over your emotional waves, as well as I hope that you will create waves of whatever to create waves of change. Thank you.